Hello, this is a video on how to add another Multi M1 to an existing uh, setup of your Multi M1 mesh whole home systems. So this one here is not configured. The colours are not really easy to see on this video, but this one's kind of vivid green, and this one is what they call lake green or lake blue or something like that. Um, so this is like a bluey green, and that is definitely, to my eye, a very good green colour. What you need to do is hold down the pairing button on the front of this until the light on the front, so the, the one that isn't configured, uh, the light on the front of it starts flashing. There we go, it's gone uh, kind of purple, and over on the one that is configured, you need to hold down the button for the same amount of time until it also starts flashing. This one's gone solid green. As I say, the colour on the video is not great. That's solid green now. This one is now flashing green. And I'm no longer able to see the default wireless name of the, the one that was unconfigured. And um, I only see the name of my normal mesh Wi-Fi from this one and when this goes solid it's configured and is also ready to use as an extender or a wireless mesh device to put somewhere else around the house. The other thing you can do is use the app to trigger this process. It'll also talk you through uh, whether you've placed it in a good position and uh, naming these devices so that you know which one is what uh, as well. There you go, that's gone solid green as well, the same colour as that. These are now configured as a, a pair of mesh devices. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notifications switched on but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thank you very much.